YouTube, welcome to the video. Wait one second. All right, just need to grab this real quick. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Today, we're talking about body recomposition. What is body recomposition? Let me just break it down for you as simple as possible, okay? It's basically when you lose body fat and you build muscle at the same time. Now, a lot of you people are probably thinking like, whoa, how do you do that? It's very simple. You don't have to do one or the other at different times. So I'm not saying you have to cut fat first and then build muscle. I mean, that is a process, you can do that, but there is something called body recomposition. You could do the same thing simultaneously. So how do you do this? How do you do this? I didn't find out about this until like late last year, early this year. And I went ahead and tried it for myself. So what you do is you wanna make sure that you're in a calorie deficit. So again, if you haven't watched my video on how to be able to track your calories or even understand the science behind calories and your body composition, go ahead and check that video out right now. But all it is is just making sure that you're in a calorie deficit, okay? But you don't wanna make sure, you don't wanna be in a big calorie deficit. You don't wanna lose so, so much weight so fast. You don't wanna do hella cardio. You wanna make sure that it's slow and gradual. So what I would say instead of losing one pound of body fat or two pounds of body fat per week, lose about a half a pound of body fat per week. Now, how you could do that is take your maintenance calories and then go ahead and subtract it by 250. That's gonna be your daily calories to make sure under 250. Th those are gonna be your daily calories that you should try to hit so you can lose half a pound per week. And again, you wanna make things slow, gradually get into it. So I would say lay off doing crazy cardio. I would still suggest do cardio because you need cardiovascular exercises for your health, but don't go crazy with it. Along with that, you wanna make sure that you stimulate your muscles. For you to build muscle, you need to stimulate your muscles. So I would say work your body parts, work each body part at least two times per week. I understand that a lot of people are busy. Y'all probably have different schedules than each other, but go ahead and set up a schedule for yourself. Again, I talked about it in my last video. If you fail to plan, just plan to fail. Because if you don't set up a schedule for yourself, if you don't uh, make sure that you have develop a system, then it's not much that you don't expect like crazy results. So if you can set up like two, two, two days a week, maybe starting off, just doing some weight training, adding a little cardio, then go ahead and, you know, probably add another day, do three days, maybe four days, and do as much as you can. You don't have to look at it as like, go, you know, go all out and do every day out the week and go big or go home. It, it doesn't require all of that. So the first thing is look at your calories. Make sure that you're in a calorie deficit of 250 calories daily. All right, second thing, you wanna make sure that you stimulate your muscles. That means weight training, incorporate weight training and progressive overload. All progressive overload is, say for example, if I'm starting off doing some curls, right? I'm doing curls with 20 pound dumbbells. All right, so I get used to it after maybe like a week or two. After that, you know what? Let me go ahead and upgrade to 25 pounds. All right, I'm at 25 pounds. And then I keep going from there. So I don't I don't do it if I if I feel like I can't do it. If it's still intense to where I can't even do it or it's really hard for me to do it, stay right there until it gets to a point where it's comfortable. And then you add a new stimulant by adding increasing the weight. So three progressive overload. And then so let's talk about protein. So look at your weight. Take your weight and divide it by half. This is how many grams of protein that you need. This is like the range of protein that you need per day. So say for example, I weigh 160, 160 pounds. So my range of protein is, if you take half of that, is 80 to 160. So I daily, the least of protein I can have for protein synthesis to take place is 80 grams of protein to 160 grams of protein. So if I'm consuming my protein, that's gonna help build muscle. Now you don't wanna look at it as like, oh, if I have two big meals and if I could meet that protein uh, range, then I'm fine. Don't look at it like that. You need at least three to five meals of protein. So you could be able to get your protein from food or 
If you're on, always on the go, you don't really have much to be able to get some protein in, just go ahead and take some protein powder. Just mix it up with some almond milk if you're in a deficit and get your protein in. But you wanna make sure that it's spread out through, throughout the day so your muscle could be able to grow, okay? So if you found anything I said that was insightful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching again. You wanna make sure that as slow as possible for you to cut the fat off and keep building muscle along the way. That's how you're able to lose body fat and build muscle at the same time to accomplish body recomposition. Appreciate you, holla back.